lower the car, get inside the car, take it for a spin, test the brakes, and show you how to bet them. Right now, it's pretty late at night, so it's kind of the perfect time to do this uh, brake betting. Essentially, what we're going to be doing is we're going to do about five repeated 10 from 50 miles an hour to 10 miles an hour in repeated succession without coming to a full stop. And this will allow the brake material to transfer onto the brake rotors and give a better uh, bite. Um, you want to do this every time you do your brakes. That way you can have a, an even surface on the rotor. Otherwise, if you don't, you can all possibly get rotor shutter and warping and all that stuff. So you don't have to do anything crazy. Just, you know, a couple stops here and there. We'll show you. bedding process you also want to make sure you don't actually lean into the ABS you just want to just do a nice progressive push on the pedal um, if you start to introduce ABS while you're bedding brakes you'll more than likely leave uneven deposited material on the new rotors so you want to make sure that you don't get the ABS working just nice smooth progressive stops that's all that's needed try to keep your complete stops to a minimum and just keep rolling as long as you can while you're doing this uh, process. I would say we've done about 10, you know, good 50 to 10 mile an hour uh, stops. We did a few 80 to about 40 stops as well. Um, you want to just for the last five minutes before you come to a complete stop to kind of just roll around, gently use the brakes, try to not to use them as too, too much as possible and uh, just let the car kind of cool the brakes down. If you smell kind of like a burning smell kind of, it's more than likely you're smelling the brake pads. Um, you're getting them up to temperature, so they're gonna emit some kind of smell, so it's completely normal. Once you're done, you're gonna wanna gently try to avoid any kind of hard braking for about 500 miles or so um, of city driving, freeway driving. Um, if you have to emergency brake, then obviously, you know, emergency brake, but gently I recommend about a 500 mile uh, bed in period where it's just nice, gentle braking. And then after that, you should be pretty much good to go. So as you can see, that the, you can look at, you can visibly tell that the rotor is significantly more darker, and you can kind of just see like a, a wear pattern from the pads contacting the rotor. This is pretty much what you want to look for when you're bedding your brakes. You don't want to see any kind of like purple spots or discoloration or anything on the rotors immediately after you bed them in. That means you put in too much temperature. Um, the goal is just to transfer pad material to the rotor. It's not to bring the brakes to a maximum temperature right away. Um, but this is pretty much what you're going to be wanting to look for when you're bedding your brakes. So if you see this, then you're pretty much good to go for uh, the, the next break-in, which is what I usually recommend, 500 miles, give or take. Just gentle braking, try to avoid any kind of paddock stopping or hard driving or anything like that. Um, but other than that, that pretty much wraps up the install. Everything's good. There's no leaks from the bleeder screws or anything. Pedal feels rock solid after we've wet it, so we're all good to go. Um, yeah, pretty much wraps up the install.